Well, down from Tommy David to another partner of his legend, Chris Clayton. Uh, Chris, you've been here a long time, haven't you? Yeah, it's my seventh season now. I've, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, just hoping now to uh, get, get a bit of my game back now and uh, hopefully break back into the team, to be honest. Because the 2010-11 season has not been the best season for Mr Clayton, has it? No, not really. I've, I've had a uh, bit of ups and downs in my injury and personal life, but um, you know, I, I sort of got myself back on track now and uh, that hopefully you know, improve and uh, get back on the pitch, to be honest. Well, we've just watched Ponty scalp Rotherham by... Uh, I'm not sure if scalping is a correct term, but you certainly took a nice scalp. So at 21-12, yeah. rather good score at the end of the day, and you... Uh, yeah. You were quite strong in that in the end, eh? Well, it's always nice to beat the English as well and, uh, at the end of the day, so, you know, everyone likes to get one up on them, but the British and Irish Cup is really important for us this year, I think, to, uh, you know, really press and, and uh, get some good results, really. I don't think we had the best time the last season. I don't think we knew well, what we to expect, really, did we? Struggled up there. I think last year we were, I t- took a little bit by surprise, I don't know whether it was a long bus journey or whether it was just, you know, perhaps a bit overconfident, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Um, but I think this season... Yeah, it's good, didn't it? It's a lot better this season. There's, uh, there's a lot more. Um, you're getting the results really that we weren't getting last year. Like uh, we struggled for, like the bed versus away and yeah. people like that last year. This year we're picking up bonus points and uh, you know it's going really well. And I thought we get a bonus point today as well. Yeah, well I think it was on the cards after the first half performance, but then uh, maybe we were guilty of dropping off a little bit and perhaps then them back into the game a bit. That's, that's quite hot. So you do give a good match report, don't you? Yeah. Anyway, Wayne O'Connor did that as well. <laughs> Sound bites from Chris Clayton, fantastic. <laughs> you and I get from the radio show a few years back when I did the radio oh, show with you. I was a bit younger then. A bit I'm nervous like, then. I'm wiser now. Yeah, you are wiser. <laughs> you are wiser. You must have enjoyed your first game back because it's been a while since we've seen you last. Yeah, I did, yeah. I just, I just want to get game time, really, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like I belong here, really. I, I want to be back in the Ponty team and I want to be pushing myself each week, like, really. Now, talk about belonging here. You've been here quite some time, seven years, but it was an incident at the start of one season. I want to ask, because no one knows what it was about. Something with Swansea. Yeah. What was that? What happened what, there? What it was is I, I was out of the, um, the frame with the uh, Cardiff Blues Academy. Um, right. And basically, um, Tony Clement spoke to me in Swansea, and he said, basically, that they were going to offer me Academy Six down there. And it was sort of like a development thing. But uh, when it came down to it, Paul John phoned me up in the summer and said, you know, you haven't gone Academy Six. So I think he was just trying to get me down there just to play Swansea with sort of like, you know, maybe you might get a little bit further by training him, you know, now and again. Like, but, Dodgy I mean, darts, isn't it? But then he wrote on the website then. Yeah, I, I was, read he was, that. He was having a development contract, but I think everybody knows if you get offered a development contract, you're gone, and So, I mean, you've got to give it your best shot. But, no, I wouldn't. So it came to nothing. I'm just glad really poured on for me up and told me, because he could have saved me going down there, really, and, you yes. know, wasting my time. This is it, this is it, and as you say, you belong to Ponty. Could, um, tell us about your background, Trioki you came from, wasn't it? Yeah, I started off in Trioki. Um, I played all my minis there, then I went away to Flanderby College then, to do my education, so um, I sort of didn't really play a lot of rugby in school, and then basically ended up finishing in the GCSE year, come back uh, to Trioki Youth then, and uh, sort of met up with my old friends and really got into my rugby then. I, Really enjoyed up trophy and sort of got picked up for the Wales under 18s then. Uh, Wing Colour, I think, see me up there playing against uh, Spain. Right. Which was a nice, nice game for me. Because um, you scored uh, seven tries, didn't you? Five, I had. Five yeah, tries. So I was just, you know, uh, I was just really happy to, uh, you know, to play for Wales and he picked me up and uh, went for me, to be honest. It was I fun. Don't no, I, sorry to interrupt. I remember reading a report about you um, before you joined Ponte, you came for Trioki and scoring, what was it, seven, eight tries in one game? I've had seven tries, yeah, uh, once before. Good grief. But it's just, I don't know, I, I've always loved being on the wing. I mean, because in youth rugby as well, I was running against people who we really didn't want to tackle, to be honest. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's been, uh, I don't know, it's been a position really that I only took in youth rugby. Because I used to play centre in school, so. Because you were quite a skinny thing when you came here first, but you've. Uh, been skinny. No, no, but you, you, you weren't as, you weren't as, uh, you weren't as big as you are now, and that's not saying you're fat in any way, shape, or form. But you've got some serious power behind you. I think it was just because I, I sort of when I came here, I just come out of the Welsh under 18s, and perhaps I was at my fittest then. So uh, I don't know, perhaps I've uh, let myself go a little bit, perhaps. But um, I'm hoping to start trimming down and perhaps get back to where I was. I feel I've lost a bit of speed from it anyway. You, you were explosive coming from under the sport. Um, well, at the side of the post earlier against yeah. Rotherham, um, 
Yeah, I that was like something I, else. That's something like part of my game, but I like it really. I, I, I'm sort of like more confrontational winger rather than sort of like a like Lewis who's out and out fast. Like so. You out and out fast, that's for yeah. sure. You use your weight with Lewis, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into it with Lewis in the end. He doesn't want to do it at the moment. I'll, I'll manage <laughs> it. I'll manage it. Um, aspirations. Well, I think it's everybody's aspirations to get a regional contract at the moment. I, I sort of. I'm just hoping to get back into the Ponty team and see where it goes from there, to be honest. You love it, uh, you? Yeah, I do love it, yeah. I'm, uh, no, I'm from up the Valley, so everybody wants to play for Ponty up the Valley. And uh, I just sort of really want to cement my place back in this team before I even look anywhere else. Yeah. And aspirations for the club, then? What do you think well, we can ob- achieve? Obviously, silverware. Got, you know, we've got a, like the league this year is, you know, it's there for the taking for us. Yeah. You know, it's for us to muck up more, rather than, you know, anybody else to win it, really. Um, I think the Connacht and Monota Cup, that's uh, great. now, yeah, yeah. I think that's uh, another goal that we, uh, we really should be achieving. Yeah. I think the British and Irish Cup would just be, uh, you know... A I bit think feather in our caps, really, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think we should really press them as well, but... I I'm, I'm must admit, I was a lot more comfortable with the British and Irish Cup before tonight. I think they gave us a test from our half, didn't they? Yeah, but it's always good to have them tests as well, yeah. because you, it, puts, yeah. it puts you in perspective on where you are. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So, um, you know, we, we know we've got to improve now. Because, I mean, some parts of the game weren't very good, but then other parts then were in the conditions that we played in, so... I think that comes down a week off, though, doesn't it? Yeah, we've had a lot of time off, and we haven't played, you know, for, haven't been really going through it, like, so wet, like, well for a couple mm. of weeks now, but, I mean, you know, a good run of games now will get us back where we have been, so... And it, it's different the opposition, isn't it? You play against the same guys week in, week out. Yeah. That's what the British Irish Cup adds to this season, doesn't it? And adds to the past, past season and a half. It's always adds against English clubs as well because they, they seem to be big, powerful teams. Mm. Really, whereas, I don't know, perhaps in Wales, we look to perhaps move the ball a little bit around, a bit more, yeah. I don't know. So it does, it, it does give us a uh, you know, different talent, really. I think they had some old spaces here today as well. There's some guys who look that they've, they've been there quite some time. Um, and yet we've got a bunch of... Quite young players, yeah. 17, 18 years of age, and we give them a we give them a showing, didn't we? Yeah, well, we seem to have a lot of young players here, but they they're all quality players. So I mean, mm. like you're quite happy to uh, like stick like a 17 year old in like like with Griff John really. Yeah. I mean, he's such a young player, he's got such great potential. Really. Yeah. So you know, everyone really can do a job who's in the squad at the moment. And what's it like for you? I mean, I know you must be frustrated at the moment because you're not in the games you you have been getting in the past, yes. but. That's got to keep you on your toes, doesn't it? Chris, you've got, who have you got? Owen Williams, Lewis Williams, Gareth Wyatt, Matthew Nuttall, yeah. anyone. Well, it, it has been frustrating, I'll be honest, but I mean, uh, I'm just trying to keep my head down, do what I can, and uh, you know, when I get my chance, I will take it, so. I'm sure you will. I, I think you did today. Well, i just got to try and get on the pitch as much as I can, to be honest, so I can prove myself, really. And I didn't have the best games on in Newport, so. No. Well. I want to probably right, really. You know, and I, th- I think you went some ways towards doing that today. We want to see some of the old Clayton magic yeah. with the old uh, try zipping up the wind. Yeah. That'll happen <laughs> sooner or later, I'm sure of it. Now, um, dual contrast, because you're, you're dueled with um, Astrid Ronda, and numerous boys are dueled with various clubs. Dowden's yeah. uh, with Gilvach, and of course, Martenko was just, was just retired. Yeah. He was with Gilvach as well. Who else? There's Thomas Etherington with Astro as well. That's right, Tom Etherington. Um, how can you do a contest work? Enlighten me, because I'm really not sure. What it is, if, if, you're, if you're not involved for the game on the Saturday, you'll get a phone call usually on the, the Thursday from uh, Richard Langmead, and uh, he'll say to you basically, you know, you're not involved, get a game for, you know, you do well club really. Yeah. So um, when that happens, then I just get a, I just go down to Astro, tra- Astro training on the Thursday night then, and I've, you know, more or less, I think it's like preference to the position, but I mean, it's not nice really because you're turning up and you're taking somebody else's position. But I mean, it happens throughout really the Premiership yes, as well. If somebody yes. else has stepped on from the Blues, that happens as well. But um, but to be honest, I'm tra- I train with them in the week anyway. As soon as I come home from party training, so I'm, I keep my because it's never you train twice in one night. Yeah, I, I go to Western training whether I'm involved or not. I went there Good last night. I just uh, I, I, try, I try to keep in with the boys as well. I've grown up with so yeah, 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 absolutely. But, uh, not just that, but then when sort of when a game time does come, then if if I am with Astra, I know what's happening, where I'm going, you know what they do, what sort of they, yeah, yeah. how they play as well. Yeah, because you've got another moves, haven't you? You've got another set piece. I think the moves are the same in every team, but it's just different calls and different yeah, things. Yeah, sure, on sure. And, uh, I keep hearing Gunter shout in A1, and I'm really not sure what it means. It sounds yeah. like some kind of special sauce. Um, <laughs> I don't think he knows what it means. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, it, to be that's, <laughs> that's going in this video, you know that, didn't it? Um, 
that's, that'll be us again. I don't know. Um, Clean, Chris, it's... I, I can't believe how long you've been here. Yeah. Well, how many caps you got now? Um, I don't know. I picked up my hundredth cap. Uh, what was it? Two or three years ago? I think. Or two years ago, I think it was. Um, I don't know how many I got. To be honest, I think it's probably about hundred and forty odd, over four to hundred thirty odd. Well, I was speaking with Wayne O'Connor a few moments ago, and he was telling me that he had about hundred forty. Oh, perhaps, 140, perhaps I haven't got that many. I mean, cause I haven't played as many well, games as you. Well, ah, know. ah, but Wayne went away for a year. Remember? Yeah. I, I don't know how many I got. To be honest, I. I did think about it the other day because somebody was, uh, I think it was Dick who was saying in the changing room that he'd, he'd had his under 50th or something. So, Good grief. Good um, grief. You know, I, I did have a think about it then, but I'm not really sure. I think I'm probably about 130, 140 odd. And many more? Well, hopefully, yeah. Yeah. I know, I, I want to play as long as I can, really. How old do you know if you don't mind me asking? 24. 24? Mm. How long have you been here? Seven years? Since I was. Seventeen. Oh, God, I feel old. So, I mean, I come straight up youth rugby into the Ponty team, so... You did. You did. So uh, three. Two, two years left in youth. You've got at least... If, you, if, you got, if you're knocking on Chief's door, you've got at least 20 years left, you know? Yeah. It's different with the forward, don't it? Because the forward isn't... Like, they, won't, oh, they won't lose their pace as much as the back. Uh, like. Okay, the good, good rescue there. Good uh, save. Gareth White hasn't lost his pace? No, he hasn't. Nobody's been there uh, sort of pro for so long. That he's true. had the right training and Very right true. conditioning, really, I mean, so... Very true. Well, let's hope, fingers crossed, that uh, Doncaster and Brum Solihull prove for two, which is for us now, yeah. and that we push this one, because uh, I'm looking forward to the uh, old Nottingham and uh, Munster and Worcester yeah. games. They should be a lot of fun. Well, that should be brilliant, that should, shouldn't it? Yeah, excellent. Chris, pleasure speaking with you. Thank yeah. you very much indeed. Brilliant. I'll catch you later in the season. Yeah. Cheers, bud. Cheers.